This second example has you doing a Michelson type calculation and there are lots of different Michelson type of calculations that you need to do in the book and you'll see some practice on the self test. Key that you have to remember is to get everything in the right units. In this case I tend to talk about revolutions per second but I've seen questions that have revolutions per minute. This one has a distance in kilometers. Again remember that all distances have to be in meters. So what we want to do is calculate the speed of light using a Michelson type experiment. Well velocity equals distance divided by time. We have the distance in this case. It is 35.51 kilometers. So what I'm going to do is write that in terms of meters 35.51 times 10 to the 3 meters. We don't have the time but we can get the time from our revolutions. This thing has a rev of 527.6 revolutions per second. So what you're given there is a basically a frequency. We can find the time for one revolution as one over the frequency. Revolutions per second is another th way of saying the frequency of this. So we have one divided by 527.6 revolutions per second will end up giving us 1 divided by 527.6 give us 1.895 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds per revolution. Now remember the Michelson experiment didn't have the mirror turning one complete revolution and coming back. It went some multiple. It went one-eighth of a turn, two-eighths of a turn, three-eighths of a turn. Now unless they specifically tell you in the question how, much, how far that mirror has rotated, you always assume it to be one-eighth of a revolution. So that's the whole time for a complete revolution. We only want to know what the time is for an eighth of a revolution so we multiply or divide that number by 8 and you get 2.36 or 37 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds. So there's the time it takes to go 35.51 kilometers and back. So that's what we need to do our quick calculation. When you're given the rotational speed, you convert that to a time for the partial rotation that it goes through. Now we can go calculate the velocity. So the velocity equals the total distance there and back. We're going to have to go two times 35.51 times 10 to the 3 meters and why two times because this thing goes to the mirror and back so it goes double that distance and we're going to divide it by the time 2.37 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds should give us a number here of 2 times, and I'm keeping my exact values here, 2 point, and if we go to 4 sig digs in this case, 2.998 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which should be very close to the accepted value, meters per second. 
Be careful when you're doing these Michelson types. The two things that I always see students make their mistake on is taking this revolutions per second or revolutions per minute and finding the time it takes to go whatever part of the rotation it is. That revolutions per second is giving you a frequency. From that frequency, find the time it takes to go that partial turn. Whether it's one-eighth on the eight-sided mirror, two-eighths, three-eighths, four-eighths, and so on. It depends on how the question is set up. So you find the time for one revolution, multiply it by whatever partial turn you go through. The other thing you have to remember is this thing goes to the mirror and back. So the distance needs to be doubled because this light goes there and back before it hits the observer. So there's the two things that you got to watch out for. Finding the time for whatever partial term and making sure that you double the distance because it goes there and back. This is the accepted value of the speed of light measured by Michelson.